With that, I have come to Mojave, California to find out if Blake has been wasting his time and hundreds of millions of dollars on a fruitless quest, or perhaps if he's onto something. If supersonic flight really can be had by all, or at least by the reasonably well-to-do, I have come to see a plane zip through Mojave's famed supersonic corridor and break the sound barrier and to think of a faster future. It's late January, and Boom is gearing up to fly this supersonic jet for the first time. It's called the XB-1. Boom has done several test flights with the aircraft already, but it's never pushed it past the sound barrier before. And so, there's excitement in the air. Tomorrow's a big day. It's the first civil supersonic flight in about 22 years. And the first time a supersonic jet built by something other than a nation state has broken the sound barrier. Blake is in many ways an unlikely person to be overseeing this effort. He's an internet dude who used to work at Amazon and Groupon, for God's sake. But to avoid the costly mistakes of the supersonic old guard, Blake has his eye on a different path for Boom. 